Hey guys, uh, welcome back and we have IPM 275 question. Okay, so this question has been repeating over the years. Okay, so I just recently asked one. Uh, it's a simple transformation involved in this uh, uh, use case. So the input given here is a uh, 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3 and 1, 2, 3, 4. So basically if you think about the logic, uh, it's doing a summation. Okay, summation of this uh, digits present in say the number. Okay, so 1 for the 1, 2 is like 1 plus 2, 3. And for the 1, 2, 3, it's like 1 plus 2 plus 3 and 6 and, and so on. Okay, so that's the logic here. We just need to find the sum of the individual digit present in the number. Okay, so that's the logic here. And uh, we'll just see the design and code. Okay, so before that, we'll just see the concepts involved in the uh, use case. So what you need to know uh, before handling this use case. Okay, so you need to know how to handle vectors. Okay, so in that uh, self-sized vector. Okay. So how to declare, okay, uh, for this use case, like you don't need a declaration, okay, I think, uh, yeah, declaration, okay, define and declaration and you need that, okay. So and then you need to know how to split the digits from the decimal, okay, from the given number, okay. So given number for that into vector elements. So this, so for this one, you need to know and you can understand about reinterpret as, okay. So that's it. I think these two, uh, and then you need to know about uh, vector, vector functions, okay. So basically, you need you have the uh, B search, okay. So uh, vector sum, vector product, okay. So vector vector sort like that okay so you have uh, many functions like that so please scroll through the official side okay for understanding uh, how like how are the functions got uh, i mean uh, declared and then uh, what are return type okay so what are return type of each uh, vector functions those everything will be available in the official website okay so these three are the important ones for this use case okay so we'll just see one by one so while coding okay so right before before that we'll just uh, see the uh, design okay so since there is a uh, role level transformation involved here just we are going to format the data okay so just we are going to do a reformat that's it and then in the reformat uh, transform code okay i'm just directly going to the code okay so if you need to understand about how we are declaring the reformat script and function everything so please uh, uh, watch the previous playlist okay so there's an uh, entire playlist available in the uh, channel like reformat so we can uh, watch the individual component playlist as well okay so we'll just see the code so dot second okay so out dot data okay so here we need first so okay i'll just tell it you okay we need to first okay get the first digit okay like single digit okay so one by one one by one a digit into the vector okay we need to store that in the vector and then we need to do the vector sum okay so that's a, a thing here okay that's a concept uh, idea here so for that okay we cannot do string split okay because like so it's a decimal right so what we can do is that we can give give a reinterpret as there decimal one okay and then okay so this one so this one is a self-sized vector okay we are not declaring the size here and this will consider uh, each uh, digit okay each digit uh, from the given decimal from the given field okay for example i am declaring a date okay so this one so this will give you a decimal vector okay so decimal vector and then you have to capture this right capture this in the vector right so what we'll be doing is that so for for this one see for this one uh, output would be vector member you know so for the for example if you take this one for the fourth one okay so fourth row it will be one comma two comma three comma four okay so i didn't declare the delimiter so you can consider one two three four okay so these are the vector elements present inside okay uh, in this code so now you have to sum okay sum the elements okay inside this okay so what so i've been doing the vector sum function okay so this one and then that's it okay so that's it for this uh, use case 
uh, hope you understood the use case okay so these three are the important uh, uh, concept checklist and then there's a only single line okay so it's a single line please try this in your uh, uh, tool and let me know if it's working okay so if you need uh, any if you need a solution for any other interview questions uh, please send a mail to this uh, mail id okay so i'll just see you guys in the next question